Hello friends, welcome back to A Dog's Life in Liechtenstein. I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying nice spring weather. We've been having lots and lots of lovely sunny but absolutely freezing cold days. So still no gardening possible up here on the mountain. Last winter I showed video of our local church graveyard in the winter. It was just after we'd had a serious snowstorm and the graves were covered with snow and the whole graveyard looked quite romantic and mysterious. More than one viewer requested, what does the graveyard look like in the summer or in the spring? So here's a compilation of what this graveyard looks like during the year. Also, during the whole of this last summer, renovations were ongoing on the tower, the clock, the bell and the roof. I wanted to show when the scaffolding came down and revealed the church looking new and shiny. Because we practically live next door, Arthur and I get to see the churchyard almost every day. Especially first thing in the morning when the sun is creeping over the mountains on the opposite side of the valley. This is what it looks like in late spring and summer. And here's the scaffolding coming down to reveal the renovations. It was lovely to see the churchyard back to looking clean and unencumbered. I personally think it's one of the prettiest, best kept graveyards in Switzerland or Liechtenstein. And here we are walking the same path that we walked at the beginning, but it was covered in snow. Arthur and I get to see the churchyard in all weathers and all seasons. And even on a wet day, it's still beautiful. The graveyard is on three levels, with normal burials on the bottom level, and the top two levels are for cremation burials. The entire top level is still completely empty, so there's plenty of room for several future generations. And now finally, here's the churchyard at the end of winter, just at the beginning of spring. As you can see, there's still a little snow here and there on the graves. As you can see from the wreaths, we've recently had two funerals. And then, over winter, something momentous happened in Arthur's life. Can you guess where we're waiting and what for? 
Yes, we're at our local vets and Arthur was booked in for castration. And here's the poor little baby, several hours later, still under the effects of the anesthetic. It was just a matter of keeping him under observation and warm. And for the next almost two weeks, he had to wear this hated cone. He was not amused. You can see the reproach in his eyes. Mummy, I thought you loved me. Why did you do this to me? Of course, the final insult was that he wasn't allowed to run as usual, especially not off the leash. And so he had to spend his days just staring out the window and dreaming of better times. And each time I called him, he came to me enthusiastically I think he was hoping I was going to take it off of him. But he was sadly disappointed. But as with most things, time passed, the wounds were healed, and the sun came out again for Arthur. And once again, he was allowed off the leash to run and play to his heart's content. And best of all, no more cone. And it meant he could go back and visit Dad in the office where sometimes a work colleague bought their dog. Although that was a bit of a mixed benefit as she had decided to take over his basket while he was away. Once Arthur was fit and healthy again, we could also visit Louis and Jacob in Bern. Louis, their Amstaff, doesn't get much opportunity to run completely free. So, at least once a week, my daughter and her partner rent a safely fenced field from their dog trainer to give Louis the opportunity to run free. And one week, we joined them. It was super cold, but it was still nice family and dog time. It was wonderful to see Louis be able to break out into his distinctive loping gait. For the dog owners of my viewers, how do you ensure your dog gets enough exercise? Well friends, that's all this time for a dog's life in Liechtenstein. Do you agree with me that we live almost next door to the most beautiful cemetery in the world? Didn't you feel sorry for Arthur when he had his little operation? Please leave your comments, like, subscribe, and of course, come back next time for A Dog's Life in Liechtenstein.